All right, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about constructing a hexagon inside of a circle, and that's what we call an inscribed hexagon. A uh, hexagon is a shape with six sides. A regular hexagon means all those sides are the same length, kind of like when we were talking about equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles have all the same length sides as well. A regular hexagon has all the same length for its sides as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that inside of a circle. First thing you need is a center of the circle with the circle. Uh, it should be given to you, but if not, there are ways to find those. And what we're going to do is we are going to find the radius of that circle. So put your center of your compass in the center of the circle and find that dot on your compass or open that compass out to see where that is going to draw that circle. In this case, it's my third dot up here. Okay. All right. So let's remember that. I'm actually going to put a point out there because I need a point out here. That's going to be my first point. Okay. All right. Put your center of your compass on that point, and if you need to refine uh, the, that dot you need, you can obviously go right back to your center as well. But it's the third dot right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make marks that go from the center out to the edge, and we want to make this mark right here. Okay. That's one of our points you're going to use. Take your center of your compass now and place it on your new point you just made. I'm going to have to kind of swing this around. I want you to see it though. Take that same third dot and again if you've lost what dot it is, figure out how to get back to the center of the circle and use that dot. Go from the center and swing it out and make that intersection there. And you're going to keep on repeating these steps until you've made it all the way around. You also note that I'm making these dots right on the circle. Okay. Place the center on that new dot. Go to the center. Should be the same circle. Have a new point. And rinse and repeat. Center on the edge of the circle. Go to the center. Swing out. It's a new point. Rinse and repeat. Center on the edge of the circle on that point. Go in. Should be that third dot still. Swinging out. New point. And now at this point we should, with our next circle we draw here, we should hit that last, that first point we started with. And we do. Okay, so you kind of get this cool shape. And uh, what we're going to do now is just draw a line to each of these dots. Okay. Um, in your instructions, you're, you are told to label all your points. So I'm going to label these first. We do have a center here. I'm just going to call it C for center. And I'm just going to go around the edge and go A, B, C, D, E, and F. And now time to draw those line segments. Make these nice and straight and make sure they go to the edge of the circle. Okay. I'm going to kind of rotate as I go here from A to B. from F to A from F to E from E to D and lastly from C to D there we go okay and remember what we talked about regular hexagons. Uh, our regular hexagons have all the same side lengths. And we use the same circle to draw all of these arcs. And so therefore, these lengths are the radius of the same circle all the way around, of the same size circle. So that means that all these lengths, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, and F, A are all the same length. Now we could write this down in notation and say that the line segment AB is congruent to BC and BC is congruent to CD. That's fine. Uh, you don't need to do that as long as you make this notation here telling me that all these line segments are the same. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. I have one more example here to look at. It's with a smaller circle. So it's with using the 
the, this part of the compass as opposed to swinging it around like this. Place that center. Actually, let's do this. Let's put a point on the edge of the circle there. Zoom in on that so you can see that. You can label these points as you go, it's fine. Call this C, call this one A. Place your center on A and swing your compass around to find that point that's going to work for you. That gets to the center. So now my, my center of my compass is on the edge of the circle. And I'm finding the point that goes to the center. And I'm going to start by drawing our arcs here. Okay, have a new point here, B. Again, it's where the circle intersects the other arc. Again, center on B this time though. Find the center of the circle, swing it out. Label this point C, or whatever you'd like to. Again, center on C though. This time, swing this guy in. Let's find that circle again. There we go. Call that point D. Again. Call this point E. Looks like I've got about one more to go. Center on E. There we go. And that's going to give me my sides. Now it might not look perfect, uh, but you should basically get that concept going down. Draw all these, oh, got to label this point F, and then draw all these line segments in. It's like one of my line segments looks a little shorter. That happens when you have to draw these smaller circles with these kind of compasses. There we go. Now all these side lengths, because they are they all share the same radius, are all congruent, so let's make all those congruency marks there. And that's how we're going to be uh, drawing hexagons inside of circles, or inscribing a regular hexagon. I'm going to zoom out, and I want to show you one more thing, and this is a very common mistake that I get often in class, and that's when it looks like this. Zoom in on that one. This is obviously not a hexagon. Uh, I guess it is a hexagon because it does have six sides, but it's not regular. You'll also notice that these points are not on the edge of the circle like they should be. So when you draw these new points, make sure those are on the edge of the circle. And it looks like this person drew the right arcs, but for some reason just put the point on the edge of the line. These points don't go on the edge of this arc those points need to intersect with the circle and the arc, okay? So this is a very bad example. If you end up with this, you've done something wrong, and it's time to restart. But anyway, this is how we draw regular hexagons.